My team, the city of Providence is taking another swing at its ongoing housing crisis. Tonight, city leaders heard from residents about this controversial pallet housing shelter proposal. The development of tiny houses is right off Victor Street next to 95. And the 19th Leanna Falk has details from tonight's meeting. Well, what you're seeing behind me is a temporary housing village set up for Rhode Island's most vulnerable. Tonight, most residents supported the plan, but say it's only scratching the surface of the state's housing crisis. How are we going to keep all of us safe? Another night of Providence residents sounding off over the ongoing housing crisis. The city of Providence and local nonprofit House of Hope went over the logistics of the proposed Echo Village in Ward 4. We're oftentimes finding people that are really making impossible decisions um, based on their own need to survive. The pallet project would span less than an acre off Victor Street near the Foxy Lady Strip Club. House of Hope Executive Director Laura Jarowski says the plot will hold 45 single unit pallet shelters, costing $15,000 each, including utilities. Jarowski says the Department of Housing is putting $3 million towards the project, the rest covered by grants and donations. It's a new neighbor in the community. It's not an encampment, it's a new neighbor. Residents at tonight's meeting say they empathize with the unhoused. It's not that we don't care about like, un, you know, homelessness and unhousing, that's not it is. But wish the city would have consulted them first before greenlighting the project. No one was known, like no one was known in no street about the pallet housing, that's all it is. Frustrated over a temporary solution. It doesn't seem like we're solving the No, because we haven't. I agree with you. So why, why are we doing this? Why because tonight... To a long-standing problem in the ocean state. We're not going to solve the homelessness um, situation overnight, but these 45 units will help. State leaders telling the community they hear their concerns. Rhode Island has been last in the country in new units of housing built. And vowing transparency going forward. Don't underestimate the community. That's, I think that's the biggest message that we're trying to get. Officials say clients will be able to move in in early spring pending city approval. In Providence, Leanna Falk, NBC 10 News.